I'm Robin Rowland. I'm a professor of communication studies and the chair of the communication studies department here at KU. I was also a KU undergraduate and I did my PhD here. Campaign rhetoric is it's kind of the currency with which candidates, which candidates invest in campaigns to try to persuade people to vote for them. Ours is a promise that says government cannot solve all our problems, but what it should do is that which we cannot do for ourselves. My country saved me and I cannot forget it. And I will fight for her as long as I draw breath, so help me God. Um, rhetoric is really the blood in our political system. If, when it circulates properly, we have effective decision-making through our elections. When it doesn't circulate properly, we get into all sorts of dysfunctional problems. So it's really important that we understand how both candidates, both of the major candidates and their running mates, are trying to sell themselves to the American people. But I'm someone that as an academic who tries as hard as I can to look to see what's really there. And I'm going to argue that the underlying power of the Obama campaign has been his redefinition of the American dream, focusing on a community orientation to that rather than the, than the individualism that dominated since the age of Reagan. And in the case of McCain, uh, I think he's running a campaign primarily about his identity as a hero, but even of greater importance, he's trying to deny the legitimacy of the Obama campaign. I enjoy talking about the, uh, the ideas to people who are interested in what's going on in political rhetoric. There's a reason that the study of rhetoric was the first of the liberal arts, the very first thing that the Greeks invented when they created higher education some 2400 plus years ago. And that's because in any kind of society where the people make the decisions, the two most important skills that a citizen needs to have are the ability to make a persuasive and sensible case and the ability to listen to someone else and evaluate that case. And an effective researcher ought to be able to take what he or she has done and translate it and a language that ordinary people can understand. If, if you can't do that, you're not doing your job right. And in another way, that you know, the, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. The proof of the research ought to be that it, it seems meaningful and important to ordinary educated citizens. And what was true for the Greeks is still more true today in a society when vastly more people are allowed to participate and we have the internet and all sorts of other forms of, uh, that dramatically speed up the communication process.